jumped out of a moving car 10 years ago, and today she's telling us why she did it. WVTM 13's Marlene Martinez on what influenced the decision that ultimately changed her life. Melissa Dotson has been wheelchair bound for the past decade. Now living in a nursing home in Jasper because of her longtime drug addiction. Well, this is my room at the Ridgewood Nursing Home. Dotson is happy now, but it's been a long journey to get here. Well, I ended up here because I did a lot of drugs. She started using in high school. I was 17. I started using with the guy I met in high school. And says her addiction knew no limits. I do cocaine do marijuana and do meth, do you name it. Dotson eventually got hooked on the prescription painkiller Percocet. I wouldn't feel nothing. I would just be numbed all the time. I did anything I could get out of. But one night, drunk and high, Dotson made a life-changing decision. I was stupid, very stupid. She says she was riding in her friend's truck when he threatened to kill her, so she decided to jump out at 55 miles an hour. I had the uh, Sidewalk, but I did. I, my brain bled and I damaged part of my brain. It's bad. I can't walk. I can't sleep. She's now 10 years clean and enjoying her life. She was even named Miss Ridgewood 2016 and wants to pass along this message. Do not do drugs and please don't do drugs and alcohol because it will hurt you. Drugs will. They look at me now. Melissa's story highlights a big day happening tomorrow. It's National Drug Take Back Day tomorrow. It's the DEA's annual effort to help you clean out your medication cabinet so none of those pills end up in the wrong hands. I'm standing at Vestavia Hills Police Department. This is one of the more than 20 drug drop off locations throughout central Alabama. The others are scrolling along the bottom of your screen there. And if you need help finding the closest location near you, just go to WVTM13.com and check under State of Addiction. Live in Vestavia Hills, Marley Martinez, WVTM 13.